And welcome back, Gamer Nation. It's KS here. It's probably will be the final episode here of uh, Let's Play uh, Shadow President. Uh, two hours of time was donated by Zeros, and we're nearing the end of that after this episode. I probably ran a little bit above that, but I have enjoyed it. Uh, even though Israel resisted, I'm going to try. Oh, they accepted that. Okay. Our ambition went back down. Ethic level's going up. That's good for America. Um, I'm going to go to about the 15th, and then I'm going to check some of the things going on in the world. <clears throat> what are we doing with Australia? Are we trading their most favored? Okay. Let's see if we can encourage investment with Australia. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. I didn't even check the percentages. Great. I wonder if in the world, I wonder if these lines are just here for the states because we're playing America, or our maps across the whole world, do they have all the states outlined on our map? I've always been curious about that. Who knows? It's Friday the 13th. <laughs> well, it was Friday the 13th. That went quickly. I have noticed that our lines are going up over here, so we're doing the right things. I wonder what they're spending. Can I get information on how much they're spending on their budget? I mean, obviously, the, so the Soviet Union at this time should be falling apart. I mean, they were shit. Let's just be honest. Our troops are better trained and equipped with spending per soldier versus... So they're sitting at 70,000. Yeah, I'm not too worried right now. Military spending... 269, we're 301, so we're still ahead of them. So yeah, I'm not really going to worry much. Yes. Australia has increased their level of investment. Awesome. Good job, Australia. We're still trying to uh, fix the world. I mean, it's just, I don't know if it's going to happen. You know, we have limited time, but uh, so far, I wish my popularity would go up more. It says it's supposed to, but eh, it's not really, which there's an error of 5%. I remember reading that earlier on, and I keep checking this budget every few days just to see if uh, this is improving, but right now it's not. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe we'll get to the end of July. Oh, hey, you all stay the fuck out of Morocco. Intelligence reported the Soviet Union failed to attempt to improve their dip. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Morocco likes us. Let's get a uh, report on Morocco here. Um, our anxiety level's way down now. The higher the social outcry percent is, the more. Uh, 32%. So they need... 3, 6, 12, 40, 29. I'm not giving them nuclear money. 3, 6, 12, 40. How much are we giving now? We're giving them more than that. We'll give them more than that. Here, I'll give them six more. We'll go up to 25 on this. Military. I would like to help them get... Yeah, that seems good. Here, humanitarian aid, I'll give you all some more. Let's go ahead and send that. No nuclear aid. I'm not giving you all shit. So 
So hopefully, uh, we're getting their six million dollars is their gross national product. That is so sad. Um, I know that they need to. Yeah, that's something they really need to do. It's a low success rate. We want them the best. Encourage social reform. Yeah, let's try to improve democratic, democratic, uh, diplomatic relations with them again. It's like, why won't you all just be like us? Be democratic. Let your people have a voice. Have shitty politicians like we do and go on. You know, that's all we really want. It's the Soviet Union. Uh, again, they're more ambitious than us. But they're way behind on other things. China is also... Yeah, come on, Japan. Oh, they rejected that. You know, I really could see them rejecting that because they reject shit today, too. It's like that. They're very... Uh, uh, what's going on? Intelligence reported that Iraq was unable to lower the nuclear spending levels of Israel. Well, no shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Are they going into Somalia? We have received notification the Soviet Union failed in an attempt to improve... Oh, well. The Soviet Union's just shit out of luck right now. Uh-oh. A news report is circulating that Israel issued a statement strongly condemning Iraq. Ooh. Have they? Uh oh. Iraq issued a statement strongly condemning. Wait, what? You know what? Here, here's what we're gonna do now. Let's go regional. No, he's not the guy I wanted to talk to. I think it was the press secretary. She'll know the events that's going on over there. These reports are taking so long. Let's see. Successful, successful, successful. What if... What is Kuwait doing is what I want to know. I don't get it. It's confusing me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh. No, ruthless. Historically, a red flag goes up within the agency. This level reaches four and above. So they're a six on a scale of one to six. I'm very concerned with Iraq. Uh, low level. On August 2nd, we feel strongly that Iraq will perform a full military invasion of Kuwait. Oh, August 2nd. Okay. Well, then we definitely need to condemn them now. I'm not sure if this is the best interest of the United States. It will negatively alter the political balance with Iraq. The major objective is to discredit the government and drive their leadership effectiveness now. But it could backfire. If we issue this statement against a friendly state, it won't look good and your popularity will suffer. Can we 
do social and economic reform. Can we do a peace envoy? Well, I feel what what can we do over there? That's what I don't understand. It's like every every action that we can do is bad. <sighs> They're all saying no. Received a report that Kuwait issued a statement strongly condemning Iraq. So the buildup's happening, and on August 2nd, they're thinking of invading. So shit could be about to hit the fan. So we're just going to sit here and watch. But I'm sure if we do anything, ambition's going to take off. Is the budget any better? Unlike the current president, I'm worried about the budget. Let's see what we have. Uh, yes. Let's work with Morocco some more. Rejected? <sighs> Bastards, you're killing my leadership rating. So I wonder what we're going to have to do. In this area... If something breaks out, I'll probably have to go to the war room. I think that's where you do all that stuff, but I never went to the war room before. <laughs> you gentlemen can't fight in here. This is the war room. Okay, I don't really want that. So I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for that to happen. So we all get to watch the clock and see if the invasion is really going to happen. While the time's running, I'm going to zoom in on Kuwait and see what they're doing. Is Kuwait putting any in forces? Not concern. As of July. 24th, 1990, we suspect Japan will be sending a peace delegation to the United States. Hmm. How strong are they compared to Iraq? It's another good question to ask. I know when we hit them, we hit sent like a. We sent like a half a million troops. They spend ninety five thousand per per soldier. Eleven. Wow. Shit. Oh, Iraq's the biggest military in the area. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to happen. Yep, this is going to happen, I suppose. Oh, what's going on in our backyard? We got Venezuela, Colombia here. Oh. 
they have so much cocaine going through those areas. All right, tick, 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 tick. Come on, let's go. I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what's going to happen. Oh, it's going so slow. It's updating now. Everybody with anticipation. I guess this is kind of how real life goes. I still would love to work for the government. I think it would be amazing. Ooh. Oh, Japan sent that peace envoy. Japan is in a peace delegation. They're a company offering more peaceful relations. Uh, yeah. Strategic value went up. Influence went up. Our ambition goes down. I wish to... Oh, Morocco is doing something now with us. Yeah, sure. As long as stuff goes up, our ambition... The only thing going down is our ambition. Saudi Arabia. We're probably going to need your help soon. Um, how would you like to be friends? Hopefully they say okay, because we're going to have to send troops to your country. Just letting you know. Just, you know, no big deal. Oh. Intelligence has reported that Iraq issued a statement strongly condemning... Qu yeah, they keep doing that, but... Click on me and go to the war room. Oh shit, what's going on here? Oh. Did somebody die in Bolivia? Yeah, we're kind of getting the idea that Iraq and Kuwait are gonna go to war. According to the government sources, hundreds of people attempted to assess hundreds of people. Oh, man. Okay, anyway. Let me see. Click on America. Takes you to the war room. Uh, what's this? Advice? <laughs> Performing this action on your own country does not make sense. Fortunately, members of the press were not informed of your attempt. Okay, well, we'll, we'll let it go then. We're getting close. I'm guessing they're going to get in Kuwait again. Yep. Talk to Iraq. Do y'all like to be friends? Oh, that's a low. just not very good uh what about strengthening economic ties with them they're just not happy about anything are they right, we'll let it go we're getting ready to have to go to war i know that i'm gonna have to blow the shit out of iraq oh what are you doing soviet union
<laughs> I would like to increase. Come on. Come on, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has temporarily agreed to cooperate with us. I prepare. Oh. Very nice. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. So, no shit's getting ready to go down over there. Let's see what restrict trade will do. I'm going to have to block trade when they start. When they start their shit. Let's see. Uh, we're going to have to try. I want to send the peace out, boy, just to try. Next week or so, that might be too late. Uh, <laughs> we might be in trouble. What's gonna happen? I'm really, I'm really digging this. Uh, we gotta watch the clock now. We've been tracking several riots taking place in Israel. Oh man. What's going on in Israel? Opposition forces are responsible for violent riots in capital. The leaders affecting it. Oh my god. So what do we do to fix Israel? Maybe a peace out boy there. Alright, let's do that. And then we don't have enough money in the world to cover that. I don't want to kill their leader. Oh, what's going on now? Are they condemning again? We've been monitoring Iraq. According to our intelligence sources, they've been steadily increasing their military spending. I've also noticed an increase in the number of military exercises being carried out near Kuwait. Yes, I know this. Promote human rights. Uh, they're not very happy about that. Israel will see this as what? Okay. Anything we can do to help out Israel? Oh man, everything's coming to a head. Texas, you all ready to fight? You're ready to fight. I'm hoping they're ready to fight. Let's check our budget again before we get to the end of the month. 118. All right. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Oh, it's the 30th. I'm sitting here with my arms crossed because I know shit's about to happen. And I'm not really certain how to go about it. I know our ethical behavior is going up high. Our ambition is lowering. But also our total influence is kind of dropping. It's the 31st of July. Shoot. 
I'm wanting to see. Yes. Anything to help Israel. Potato. Oh God, Dan Quayle. Oh no. Israel has adopted the social reform. Nice. What's that ES? Educational spending of Israel. They drop, what? what? That doesn't make sense. Anyway. Yes, peace out void of Israel. Calm them down. <laughs> veto, veto, veto. Ah, shit. Damn it, Israel. What do y'all want? Condemning our nation? What? Are you shitting me? That's great. All right, let's go to the military here. Iraq will view this hostile action. I'm not sure this, oh, we have to wait for them. We, we're not allowed to preemptively, oh. Just hand this classified report on Iraq. According to the report, there's a frenzy of military activity. The troops are in a state of high alert. Our aircraft have verified troop moving into offensive positions along the border of Kuwait. Are we allowed to uh, call them out now? Is the extreme and it's a fit. God, they don't. We're not allowed to say anything until they do it. And that's bullshit. Can we do a peace envoy there? We're going to send it just to go through. What's the Soviet Union doing? They're probably use this as a distraction to declare war. <laughs> I'm glad China's trying. <sighs> Here we go. Let's try to send a peace envoy to Iraq. <sighs> Where are they going to do it? Iraq is invading Kuwait. Do you enter, enter the crisis room? Yes. Uh, Diplex statement of protest is immediately issued. As president, you risk very little by issuing a protest. Economic blockade. Uh, we can't do them all. Let's file a protest. Okay, we're going to protest. We're going to do an economic blockade. Oh. 
our troop station in Saudi Arabia want to know if they should join the fighting. Shall we issue the order to join the battle? No. Okay, I need to go to the war room, people. Surrender. Kuwait is lost. Iraq says to take a position in Kuwait. Okay, yeah, that's what happened historically, but we should be able to go in there now. Okay. So I have to click on Iraq. My popularity has dropped. Let's perform a surgical strike. What? I don't, I don't get it. Why are they still... Okay. I guess you all are against this now, too. That's great. And, okay, condemn them. Let's uh, block trade with them. Statement is issued direct being broadcast by media all over the world. I've prepared an executive summary. All changes as a result of this action will be highlighted. Uh, nothing changed for us. I'm going to perform a surgical... Well, wait. Let's... Uh, yeah, let's perform a surgical strike on them. Do this. I will scramble one of our best strike teams to this country immediately. If we do see some results within the next week or so. Oh shit! Are they going after Iran now? Same as Iraq issue condemning our nation as being progress. Ah uh, well, it's bullshit because they just invaded a country. Yes. Cancel all trade with Iraq. Oh, look at them. Look at them numbers up there. Oh, what are they going to say now? You're being bullies. Now, are people really mad about us bullying them? That's the thing. Center the war room. Attention, military data link now secure. Sudan failed to attempt to supply arms to the rebel forces in Egypt. See what's going on. It's hard to keep up with everything here. Now, what I want to know is... Wait, 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 wait. Let's exit this. I want those surgical strikes to happen first. Before I do anything... And I probably want to put soldiers in the... I 
I probably want to put soldiers in the countries around this. I'm probably not able to. Come on, when's our when's our strike going to happen? That's what I want to know. Their ambition is through the roof. Come on, when are you going to do the attack? That's what I'm waiting for. Come on. Kind of making me mad. Let's let this run. Maybe it'll happen at 20. That's when stuff starts happening. I know this video is running a little bit longer, but I'm really wanting to see this surgical strike happen. He said within the week. I'm just wondering where it's at. Oh, here we go. Surgical strike on a rat. Do it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho. Iraq is extremely upset about the military strike that we made against him. I prepared executive summary. Military threat concern went up. We didn't kill any of their population. That's good. No. No peace to Iraq. Oh, my popularity went up because of that strike. Okay, let's uh, go to the war room. Actually, you know what? I think I'll end the video here. We're approaching 40 minutes, and we're out of time on the Game Blitz. Maybe if somebody wants to pick this up, we will do that next time. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to stop, you know, the Iraqis from being destructive. As always, gamers, thanks for watching. This game was brought to you by Zeros. Yes, I'm being a jerk. I love to see the comments on this one. Have a great day. Good night, gamers. Bye.